validity what reliability and validity mean uh, when we talk about tests and which particular test we are talking about we are talking about selection tests as we said that um, when you have to select an employee or you have to select a potential candidate for your organization so you must have some certain concrete tests with you on the basis of which you are going to say that yes this is a valid test which i am going to use for my organization which will land up me in giving an authentic uh, you know uh, reliable uh, which is going to uh, give me authentic person for my organization and that the test which you are which organization is using must be reliable and must be valid now what exactly we mean by reliability and validity of the test for example let us suppose now validity validity measures the degree to which a test actually measures what it claims to measure validity is determined by research conducted by test publishers using the guidelines established by equal employment opportunity commission and professional organizations such as society for industrial organizational psychologists when we talk about validity we say that it measures it is the degree to which a test actually measures what it claims to measure for example let us suppose we have a, a calculator calculator a uh, calculator um, uh, which we are using it um, um, we are using calculator because we feel that calculator measures our mathematical say calculations and every time um, we we require something in our uh, to measure or to calculate we use calculator so calculator is giving you it is a it is a tool which is or it is a tool which is valid for mathematical calculations similarly in an organization when you are using certain tests for example you are using psychometric tests you are you, you are using psychological tests so psychological tests is valid to measure the behavior psychometric tests again are used to measure a particular say a personality type the behavior that means they are valid for a particular category of um, say um, test or they are valid for a, a to measure a particular trait to measure a particular characteristics of the behavior and that is what is validity of these tests when we say validity uh, and as far as validity of uh, tests which are being used in organizations they are uh, you know generally determined and they are they are authenticated by equal employment opportunity Com commission which is eeoc and uh, there are certain organizations there are cert certain societies that to validate particular test for example your organization is uh, using a particular test how do you see that how do you say that it is a valid because it is being uh, recognized this is being approved by certain bodies that is why we say it is a valid test right now we have certain um, for for example let us suppose we have five factor model of personality right it is considered to be a good predictor of overall job performance uh, by various you know human resource professionals and um, various uh, ffm tests um, are developed and valid and when um, uh, you know when if if it uh, if you want to improve the efficiency of the test they you can you can uh, you one can have a better and more modified versions of these tests right then um, to uh, to have these validities we have various type of validity tests right which has which is being approved by uh, um, um, this uh, uh, equal employment opportunity commission then these three tests uh, which are being approved are uh, content validity criterion validity and construct uh, validity now what is content validity content if you go by the word it relates to the job function testing which includes uh, mathematics typing certification tests for professional organizations you know um, uh, that means wherein you are uh, validating a person's 
content how how good he is in contents like the content which is required for to perform a particular job for example uh, let us suppose you you are you are handling a, you are um, a computer operator you are uh, handling a front desk office, officer so you are typing speed you are how how you are how you are taking um, taking up the you know um, receiving the commands for example dictations and how how you are uh, what is your typing speed what is the errors what is the uh, you know um, the percentage of errors how fairly you are removing those errors while typing so content validity it identifies specific behaviors knowledge and tasks which are required for a given job and for a test to be valid the content must be directly linked to the job for which a person is applying otherwise your uh, validity test won't give you the good results then second we have criterion validity criterion validity it determines whether a test accurately predicts on the job performance or not now it is the criteria that means the applicant test results are compared to the subsequent job performance using performance appraisals there now what you are doing you are having certain uh, you know standards you are having certain productivity you can have certain attendance records and you can have various parameters on the basis of which you are comparing or you are determining the uh, um, you know predictions so applicant test results so the for example a particular um, applicant has appeared for a particular test which organization has conducted and then those results which are uh, which are received they are compared compared to what to the job performances what we are expecting out of that job so the results are being compared and then we we try to gauge out we try to find out whether the whether the applicant who is appear who has appeared for the test or who has underwent or undergone that test is is that candidate suitable for our organization or not right then we have construct validity construct validity it uh, identifies the dimensions of the test whether they are related to each other or not for example uh, let us suppose um, honesty honesty and uh, dependability are not the same but are they they are related as a part of person's personality behavior like if a person is honest so what is um, whether then if a, if a person is honest that means his dependability uh, dependability on other person um, say may, may be other co-workers or may be the resources may be the so you are constructing you are correlating one particular say dimension with the other so on the basis of that you are trying to measure out you are trying to figure out whether the uh, applicant he will he whether he will be able to match up with the expectations of the organizations or not so this is how validity goes on then once a test is valid you need to check the reliability now what what do you mean by reliability for example let us suppose we take a uh, say um uh, example of a calculator right calculator every time you give uh, you give you uh, give a command to the calculator for calculating 2 plus 2 every time it will give result as 4 rather it should give result as 4 it is not that today it is giving 4 and tomorrow it is giving 5 or say 6 years down the line it it will give something other result no that means then in that case your calculator is not to be relied upon so reliability is that over a period of time right um, so um, reliability means that a test produces consistent results over a time that means whether you are calculating 2 plus 2 now or you are calculating 2 plus 2 10 years down the line calculator will and must give the same result consistent result over a period of time if a person for example now there are certain tests um, which a candidate uh, will undergo so a test irrespective of the fact whether it is taken by mr x or mr y results has to be same for x if he is taking test today and when we talk about the reliability and um, say after 6 months if you are going to evaluate that uh, test for mr x it is it has to be the same result has to be same 
for example when we talk about speaking truth truth is truth right whether you speak it 10 years down the line results would be seen similarly in an organization if we have psychometric analysis test if you are using these type of tests results have to be seen so uh, reliability means that a test produces consistent results over a time um, uh, hardly matters whether the person takes a test today and uh, then takes the same test 6 months from now the test would be considered reliable if the results of both tests are similar right now there are certain um, uh, may ways and means but before we uh, proceed further for that uh, what are the you know uh, how, how to validate a test uh, try to understand that reliability and validity the two concepts are connected they are very much interconnected reliability is a prerequisite for a validity if you want to say that a test is valid how you, how come you will say that a test is valid only if it is reliable this means that it is necessary for not but not sufficient to ensure validity this is the um, uh, for example if uh, if it is a test it has to be um, understandable the test has to be uh, if it is so unreliable that it produces two different estimates of a person present behavior uh, then how can we believe that it will give a good estimate of future behavior if two persons are taking same test for one person it cannot give uh, one different analysis and for other person it cannot give a different analysis right so results have to be same when we say results of have to be same that does not mean the results of the two persons what they are doing or performing over a test has to be same but we are talking about analysis of the test has to be same it cannot it cannot give a it, it, uh, reliability uh, cannot give you a biased result right for one person it cannot uh, analyze on one particular ground and for other person it cannot analyze it on a other particular ground so in selection context validity refers to the extent to which performance on a uh, on the selection device is associated with performance on the job or again and what validity validity purports to measure how far a correct prediction of success is employment has been made valid whether the test whether the result which has been assessed is it valid or not you cannot give a test for example if there is a marketing person and um, you want to judge a person uh, of his con uh, say convincing skills that how 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 good he is at convincing so the test has to be related to communication the test has to be related to the maybe product knowledge then only it will give the valid result you cannot ha have any other test you cannot set any other test for a marketing or sales person uh, for evaluating his convincing power uh, by using any other test so validity has to be uh, you know then only you, you say that a particular test is valid if it is gi giving you a reliable result so validation then it consists of analyzing the extent of the match between predicted performance and eventual performance and validity describes um, for instance the case when an employee is selected in an interview and eventually constitutes the best choice out of all other applicants for his for this special job so there could be plenty of restraints concerning the verification of validity but um, still uh, in this context it is suitable to list only two one would have to ask the same candidates again and again and it is not sure um, whether they are willing to participate and consequently it is uh, sometimes it becomes very hard to examine if interviews are reliable and valid valid recru recruitment methods see if you are not using these type of tests uh, just merely on the basis of what interviewer is interviewing uh, to a particular candidate cannot be reliable cannot be valid right because it is your interviewer can be biased the your um, because interviewer will analyze situation or will evaluate candidate according to his or her own perception 
according to his or her own understanding so it might not be uh, valid it might not be reliable when i say valid and reliable so it has that means we need to we need to rely upon certain test we need to take support of certain tools we need to take uh, support of certain measurement techniques which will help us in taking us candidate who is going to be a future asset to the organization right so this is what reliability means that it produces consistent results over a time now what i was talking about that there are certain uh, like uh, how now question arises how to validate a test how do we know that the test which we are using is it valid or not for example let us suppose you are you are um, in an organization and you want to uh, you want to hire cert, uh, uh, certain say uh, for for a particular position now you want to use a particular technique right to uh, for that for the selection purpose of the candidate now how do you know that the selection technique which you are using is it valid or not so there are certain say steps through which you can validate a test so first is to analyze the job now first of all to validate a test you need to analyze the job that what type of job a person is going to handle so that i can use my test accordingly now what can be the predictors job specification obviously where from we will be getting analysis of the job it will from job specification that means your keys your, sorry your knowledge your skills your abilities and other areas so you need to focus on this to analyze the job so as to have a quantitative and qualitative measures of job success because if you are not going to analyze the job if you are not having the job specifications of a particular job you cannot reach to a qualitative and quantitative measures of the job and if you cannot quantify your job if you cannot measure a job you cannot use a validate validation of the test right now so first of all it is very important that you analyze the job for which you want to hire your people and then uh, uh, second is choosing the test choosing the test when we talk about it is a um, test battery or single test test battery or single test means whether you want to use a series of tests that means um, there there could be you know uh, various tests combined together which is test battery or which or there could be a single test now it will depend upon the type of the job and where 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 from you will get that knowledge it will be through analysis once you have done your job analysis then on the basis of that job analysis you will be able to make out whether the requirement of the job is to use a one particular single test or there should be a series of test or there has to be you know combination of various tests then third is administer the test once uh, after you have chosen uh, chosen the test for a particular job then you need to administer the test now how you are going to administer the test concurrent validation that means you must ensure that the test which you are using for selecting your uh, employee or selecting your potential candidate is it valid or not is it actually giving me is it will the results give me the actual uh, say will it be helpful in sorting out the employee uh, potential employee of for the organization or not then current employee scores with current performance current employee score with current performance now you want to administer a test so how you are going to validate you use it for the employees who are already working in the organization and then you make out the scores calculate the scores so that you can you can ensure that the test which you are using is validate or not right then next is predictive validation that what your expectation out of that test is you need to predict it predict and how you can um, go for predictive validation you can use certain mathematical techniques you can use certain statistical techniques for to uh, have the validation predictive then uh, you later measure performance with prior scores 
now prior scores where from you will get it you will get it prior scores from here wherein you have uh, administered the test to the already uh, candidates who are currently performing that particular job in your organization so you are having certain set of scores and now you are measuring those scores against the scores which has been attained by the potential candidate so you can now make out whether the scores are somewhere nearby or there is a way, gap between the scores and which will give you an idea whether the candidate whosoever is applying or whosoever we are selecting for the organization will it be worth or not then relate test scores and criteria then correlation analysis this we have already done that correlation that uh, you have you need to have a dependent variable one independent variable and then you can correlate whether the test scores and the criteria which we have set down are they correlated or not because then only it will be able you will be able to know whether the test is a valid or not if there is no correlation between the test scores and the criteria which you have set down obviously that test is not going to be valid then actual scores on the test with actual performance once the correlation has been set between the test scores and the criteria that what exactly is expected out of those um, test scores then you are um, measuring the actual scores that has been calculated for the potential candidate and the with the actual performance that what scores you are expecting and what his actual performance is that will make uh, that will help you in making out whether the candidate is suitable for your organization or not then cross validate and revalidate cross validate for cross validate and revalidate you need to uh, you know repeat this administration of the test and relate because once mm, once this administration of the test with the current employees who are already in the organization and then you are you know uh, fixing the correlation between the test scores and the criteria because over a period of um, the more you repeat it more concrete Uh, solutions more concrete analysis you will be getting and more concrete your validation of a test would be so to validate a test you need to follow all these five steps um, right then we have um, as i was saying that uh, these tests are being uh, authorized and sa um, sanctioned by equal employment opportunity uh, commission and what they are saying or do they have given the aspects of testing that an organization must be able to prove that its tests are related to success or failure of the job that means valid if if you are your organization is not able to uh, make out whether the test which they are using for uh, selection uh, of a potential candidate if it is not valid then obviously you are going to land up with having Uh, you know candidates which might not be suitable for your organization so it will land up in the failure of the test if your test if on the application of the test it is not giving you potential candidates suitable potential candidates for your organization then in that case it is your your valid your test is not valid so that its tests don't unfairly discriminate against minority or non minority subgroups that means it has to be impersonal that means it it cannot take into account any uh, any discrimination or it, any biasness because test generally should be you know math, it it has to be it should be based on a mathematical approach on a quantitative uh, techniques and terms so that you can um, you, you can you cannot have any discrimination then according to eu guidelines and laws apply to all selection devices including interviews application references although eu guidelines and laws generally most of the us based companies they apply these eu guidelines but having said that if you want to validate and rely, um, you have you want to have a reliable uh, testing technique then eu have set certain uh, set some guidelines which you can take it as a platform and which you can take as a reference and formulate your test that that will uh, that will be somewhat valid and reliable then testing alternatives if a selection device has dis 
disparate impact. That means uh, institute a different valid selection procedure that does not have an adverse impact. You need to, the EU, what EU says, EU guidelines say that you need to test your alternatives if a selection device has disparate impact. That means the test which you are conducting, what is the impact? What is the impact on the say, selection procedure? What is the impact on um, getting good candidates, potential candidates for the organization? So you need to have those testing alternatives. And then you need to show that the test is valid. In other words, that it is a valid predictor of a performance on the job. That means you are not using any test which is not valid, which is not giving you the concrete results for a particular uh, job uh, say criteria which you have set for a particular job or the position which organization is looking to fill in. So, and then the monit monitor the selection test to see if it has a dispar disparate impact. Once the um, test has been implemented or once the test has been administered, then you need to monitor the selection test. That means that Candidates that have been selected through that particular test, you need to find out whether the test which was administered upon these particular employees, are they now fulfilling the criteria of the organization or not, right? So in that case, uh, you need to uh, be very sure whether the organization, whether the test which you are applying for a, a particular the uh, position which needs to be filled that has to be valid that has to be reliable once the test has been validated uh, then it it you have to you can rest be assured that it it has to it should give reliable tests uh, reliable results over a period of time whether you are administrating the test today or whether you are administering administering the test say five years down the line or 10 years down the line, results should not be varying in nature. If it is varying in nature, that means your test is not reliable. You cannot use it over a period of time. So this was, um, this was all about reliability and validity of the test. Now the thing is that <clears throat> when we um, say talk about uh, reliability and uh, 